So here we are next to a rainy river, our natural environment for working on code. Yep, and this one's going to be on DevTools, so it's DevTools rain and boats. Nothing synthetic about this in the slightest. <laughs> right, so today we're talking about responsive toolbar. Now, for a while in DevTools, we've had device mode, which has been useful for like building responsive sites. This is sort of an evolution of that tooling. So um, some of the new things we've added are support for this little toolbar that lets you toggle between like different mobile sizes, like medium, large, tablet, desktop. But we've also um, improved device emulation. So if we switch over to Nexus 5X, for example, you now get a little bit of device artwork um, from Android showing on the top and the bottom. Yeah, and then they've added an extra little drop down where you can then say you want portrait with a navigation bar, which is like Chrome's URL bar. Um, but you can also do portrait and landscape with keyboard as well, which is kind of nice, especially if you're doing like form input, just to see how it renders. Nice little step up as well. That's kind of cool. You also have a drop down for being able to say, you know, how much of the viewport you want to occupy for your actual device preview. And we've got this little menu with a few extra options in here. So one of the things that you might have tried out before is the show media queries option, super useful. It basically like parses out the media queries in your page and you can just see what your page looks like at different, um, different media query breakpoints. I already have some beef with this because if you try and use it as is, after you've selected a device, it does nothing. But if you go to the responsive mode and drop down and then click on it, then it starts working. What are you talking about, Matt? It's all perfect. It's all perfect. No, it needs an issue. <laughs> OK, you file a bug on that. Yep. Um, other things that we include in here include um, show device pixel ratio, so you can switch up your device pixel ratio settings. Uh, another thing that I usually have on is network throttling. So if you're building um, to be resilient against like really flaky network conditions or Li-Fi or anything like that, network throttling can be useful to toggle on. Um, usually you can have on like a good like 3G or 2G setting. And that just means that when you're loading up your page, um, we're going to throttle that connection and, and it'll show up, it'll load up a little bit more slightly than and it normally would. It's kind of nice just having that there because otherwise you bury it in the network thing. It's way too easy to leave it on some random setting, start looking at the elements, fixing other problems. Um, it's nice just having it constantly there in the responsive mode. You can also, like, let's say you're building an app, like a progressive web application, and you've got service worker support. You can also switch on offline um, to try out your service worker and just make sure it's working well offline. It would be great if it was just like one button, like disable internet. Yeah, just a, just the great. airplane icon. That's all you need. Done. Um, folks uh, were asking about ruler support, so we've got a show rulers option there. It wasn't there before. It's now back. Um, you can check that out if you like rulers. Some of the newer stuff that we've been playing with um, are the ability to trigger add to home screen. So let's say you wanted to emulate your web application manifest experience. You can click trigger add to home screen. It'll bring up this message at the very top that says, you know, add this site to your shelf to use it any time. Um, you can click add and it'll bring up a little prompt that says, okay, well, what do you want to customize the name of this thing to? And the idea behind this is that it's supposed to like just emulate the add to home screen experience you get on Android. Yeah, and it was kind of annoying because before you'd have to do it on your phone, you need something to download the manifest file. And normally the reason you'd want to do that is because if there's a problem in your manifest file and Chrome wasn't happy, it wouldn't pass it. And it, it's just tricky to debug. So having this like hard way of just saying, go and download it and pass it is insanely helpful when you just do it. Um, as a reminder, we also have another little panel um, called sensors, which lets you go and emulate different sensors. So like you can emulate geolocation coordinates, device orientation, um, and you can decide whether or not you want to emulate touch based on your device or whether you want to do force touch, uh, force enabled. Um, and yeah, that's about it for the responsive toolbar and the new device mode. Yeah.